Pisces. Thank you for coming back to my channel. If you have not Pisces, please subscribe to my channel. I greatly appreciate it. Share with a friend if you think they would enjoy my content. All right, Pisces, gonna go ahead and pull out the earth, air, fire, and water energy from the next world tarot. Very, very magical deck. All right, Earth Energy, please. Spirit for Pisces. King of Cups, the throne of movement. This is wonderful um, energy here, Pisces, in our stability. I do see us very much in control of our circumstances, in control of our emotions. Whoa, 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 okay, too many. But this is a lovely energy. I see us here sort of on the other side of a lot of obstacles, emotional obstacles that we've had to go through really standing in our power here. Now we have the devil coming out in our air energy, our community. So definitely, you know, I love the imagery on this card. So we're looking at those things, those addictions. This can, this is Saturn energy. So definitely want to keep that in mind, um, how much we are consuming in the outer world. Now, in our passions, our fire energy, we have the Knight of Cups, the love song. So this could be somebody coming in. This could be just you being in your element, being all about your creation, your vision, your love. And then we have death, um, water, Scorpio, Mars energy here coming out in our emotions. So I do see a sort of death and rebirth of sorts here, maybe a new perspective this week. Now I'm gonna go ahead and clarify each of these cards with a Moonology Oracle. Oof, give us some additional messages. And Pisces, your cards are coming out all over the place here. Okay. What do you need to release? So this coming out, clarifying that King of Cups, I really do feel like there may be something that you do need to release. You know, I feel like this King of Cups has been through, has been through some shit, you know? And definitely we wanna release anything that is not serving us. Here with the devil, um, we have step out of your comfort zone, North Node. Maybe some of you also have your North Node in Pisces as well. I also have my North Node in Pisces. Um, but I do feel like this is a time for you to sort of step out of your comfort zone. And, and I feel like this is on a really big level. This is, you know, letting go of those addictions, this whole culture that we live in that is all based around addiction, whether it is to the news, to the, to the social media, to sex, to actual drugs, to food, whatever it is, there is, there's a lot of ugliness in this world. There's a lot of things that we are addicted to because of the people in power. And I just really feel like this really is you taking a stand against that. Really, really powerful and beautiful energy. With this Knight of Cups clarifying, we have the end of a tough cycle approaches. So I do feel like this is you stepping in to your dreams, believing in yourself, in what you can accomplish. Get the deck up. Yeah. And then 
with this death card, we have new moon in Taurus, prosperity lies ahead. So definitely really beautiful. Now here we do have clarifying what do you need to release. We have the five of discs, worries. So it could be, you know, there could be just a situation that's weighing on you, a lack mindset. I do feel like this is in, you know, it's so interesting here with the veil lifting around us and really being able to see things clearly. Um, you know, the five of discs or pentacles is reading to me a much different way. It is reading as worry. And, you know, that's what the five of pentacles is. It can be, you know, being left out in the cold and all of that, maybe like financial struggles is what we see on that card. However, really the source of worry there is the system that we live under that tells us that we need to live a certain way. And of course we all need to have our, you know, basic human needs men met. But I do feel like here Pisces, we're just having a lot of revelations about how to be abundant without, you know, succumbing to all of these addictions in this society. Um, definitely loving this energy with this three of wands I do see us looking for a different way stepping out of our comfort zone exactly here we are really looking for a different path to walk down here we don't want that same old path we don't want to give them that control over us you know and this is our community energy so I feel like this is you know, some healing going on on the collective level. And then we do have the Nine of Swords here. Cruelty. The end of a tough cycle approaches. You know, I just see, Pisces, that in our passions, we may have really faced some real hardships. Maybe a lack of support from people that we loved or you know, just criticism of some kind, even if it was mental coming from our own self. I just feel like we have faced this cruelty. This is ending. I do feel like it's the love song. It's really beautiful energy. Maybe you are actually writing a literal love song. Maybe this is just you stepping into what you love free of judgment of others. I do see, you know, with the Capricorn energy here, we're really putting work. Maybe you struggled to really put work behind your passions up until now. You struggled to really think that this is going to pay off for you. You've had all these thoughts doubting yourself, but definitely this week, Pisces, we do have this really beautiful energy in our passions. And then we have the Fool coming out here, clarifying death and prosperity lies ahead, new moon in Taurus. So I definitely feel like we are becoming really grounded this week and grounded in our own ideas, our own passions, our own love for humanity. And this Fool coming out is just really you taking that leap of faith and really just stepping into that that child version of yourself i feel like we're just this week releasing all of the toxins really beautiful energy pisces and we are going to pull one more card here from the row rig deck and this is going to be our spirit message and we have the seven of swords So I do feel like, you know, this is, this may seem like a really big struggle here. We have really been through a lot and there is this worry around finances and I do feel like Pisces, there is you know, you are, you're really in a beautiful energy here, but I do feel like, 
you know, this is a little wobbly. This is a little, you know, with this cruelty, just everything that you've been in through the past. And of course, it's going to be really difficult when you're going up against a system that's been in place for your whole entire life for as long as there's been recorded history, you know, when you're going up against everything that you've been taught and conditioned to believe, it does seem hopeless, helpless, maybe how you're feeling. You know, it may seem like this is just way too big for you to conquer. But I really, really feel like your love song, the beautiful love song inside of you, Pisces, is is going to bring you all of the prosperity that you need. And this has been, this has been a tough cycle, but the end is approaching. So it might, it might seem like a lot this week, Pisces, but definitely keep doing what you're doing. If this reading is resonating for you, I really feel like you're doing a lot of inner emotional work and really trying to cleanse yourself of, of all the toxins. So I definitely love that, Pisces. I'm going to go ahead and leave it there. I love you so much. I hope you have a wonderful week. Take care.